Hello, my name is Dan Walker Jr. I'm a freshman. I'm currently on the side at the University of Delaware. My obscure but phenomenal moment in African American history is Carter G. Woodson and how he sort of started Black History Month. Um, for my performance, I've decided to create an interview pretending to be Carter G. Woodson and explaining all the hardships and journeys he's been through in his historic life. Please enjoy Carter G. Woodson, the greatest person you may have never heard about. Thank you. Black History Month has been around for many years and is a very significant part of American history. While saying this, many people do not know how it started or who started it. We have the answer for you today. Please welcome Carter G. Woodson, founder of Black History Month. Welcome to the show, Dr. Woodson. Thank you for having me. Tell everyone who may not have heard of you exactly who you are. I'm Carter G. Woodson, and my life has been one hell of a journey. I've been through tough times in my life starting at a very young age. As a child, I worked as a sharecropper, miner, and many other jobs to help provide for my family. Like many African Americans back then, going to school was not likely for me. I had a different mindset than most kids my age, though. I knew I was going to get an education by any means. I entered high school two years later than I should have, but as I said before, I had a different mindset than other kids my age. I studied and I studied and made up for the time I lost. I eventually graduated high school on time. After high school, I worked in the Philippines as an education superintendent for the United States government. I then went on to get a degree at the University of Chicago and at the prestigious Harvard University. At Harvard is where the first Black History Week idea came to life. What is the story behind your founding of Black History Month? Um, back in my college years, my friends and I felt like black people weren't getting appreciated the way they should. After a lot of planning, we came up with Negro history and literature in 1924. The purpose of this week was for people to simply recognize the great history of African Americans. I chose this week to be in February. I chose this month because Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass' birthday both fall in February. Two people who have major impacts on African American history. Did you come across any issues during this whole Negro week thing? Yes, of course. <clears throat> The main issue with this week was that more people than we expected participated in this week. This caused us to unexpectedly run out of content for people to go over during this time span. I wouldn't say this was a major issue, but this did cut us off guard. Overall, what once turned as a week has turned into a month. Black History Month is now one of the greatest months ever because of me, Carter G. Woodson. <laughs>